It is very normal for every human being to brush off anything that does not uh, involve them or affect them directly in their life. Today we are at the Aga Khan Hospital and we are going to be learning about stoma. Stoma may be something very new to you, but today we are going to show you what it is all actually about. The following pictures may be a little bit disturbing as we highlight on stoma. A stoma is a surgically created opening on the abdomen which allows stool or urine to exit the body. No statistics exist on how many Kenyans live with the condition, but of great concern is that cancer cases are on the rise and this translates to increased stoma incidences. What we are aware of is that there is increasing numbers of cancer, colon cancer, colorectal cancer, problems with the kidneys, blunt injuries, you, you can get it from a gunshot wound. So at any point that necessitates somebody to have a stoma, then there is a need to have a nurse. I must say that there are many people who have stomas in this country. I am the, sub, uh, the secretary of the Stoma World Kenya group, and in the group alone we are over 200 now. My record as at today reads 210. So that is only in Nairobi, and I can imagine the country is big. We have how many counties? So Stoma may be permanent or temporary depending on the condition. Sally Agalo is a colon cancer survivor and for the last three years has carried on with her life using the special bag. It is true, it doesn't limit as long as I have it. But if I don't have it, then it does because I cannot walk out without it. I, maybe I would wear like a normal plastic bag, but again the smell and all this. But as far as the stoma is concerned, I can go on with my work. I work from 8 to 5 in the evening, Monday to Friday. So it doesn't, yeah. And um, also there are some people in the group who say that even after the stoma they've had babies. So even in uh, sexual issues it doesn't affect. However, the colorectal bags are not accessible to many patients who require them with some reverting to unconventional methods of collecting body waste. The Stoma World Kenya Support Group is lobbying for the government to make the bags available at cheap prices. I cannot uh, go to work, I cannot do anything without wearing the bag because you know now the stool just passes. Like it's not that I feel it, so this bag has to be used. So what we are trying to tell the government is that we need this thing. The same way the medicine is given in hospitals, we need this. So as a group, Stoma World Kenya, uh, we already uh, talking to a few people who can um, lead us now to the office of the Ministry of Health so that we we air this out. Bugs in our country is a big problem. We don't have the bags. And for the few who manage to get the bags, they're quite expensive. A thousand, a thousand five hundred, that's really, really expensive for a common person like you and I. Now, through the support group, some of the survivors get to benefit from the donor bags. And remember, donation can come anything, you know, anything that I can't use, I donate it to you, it's free. And some have good quality, some don't have the appropriate quality. Again, that ends up to the complications of the skin that we are talking about. Patrick Masinde is one of the 20 specialized stomach care nurses who says there is a growing need of specialized nurses to cater for these patients. The management of the stoma again is an issue because some of the gut content is very corrosive. We need to safely get it out and help this person get back to their normal life. Okay, So this is where the need comes from. There are many peristomal complications that arise. The skin excoriation, the cumicocutaneous junction separation, a lot of this. They don't know how to manage it. That's where the stoma nurse comes in handy. According to the Australian Nurses Association representative, Austrian government provides the bag for free to all stoma patients. The first lot of Kenyan nurses will be graduating on the 20th of this month at the Aga Khan University. However, stoma patients in Nairobi meet at the Aga Khan Hospital every second Saturday of the month for logistical as well as social and moral support. Henry Miner, GBS News.